Five Questions with Leroy Butler is brought to you by Pottawatomie Hotel and Casino. Now, here's Tom Silverstock. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Five Questions with Leroy Butler. Happy pre-Minnesota week. Well, let's go back. Congratulations to Matt LaFleur and the Packers for getting into the playoffs. Yeah, they got Packers I mean, are in the playoffs. It don't matter how you get in. Three. You just get in. First rookie yes. coach in Packers yeah. history to make it to the playoffs or win 11 games, really. But fans are still, like, Tom, I don't know what you get on your social media, but fans still want more. Yeah, they're they, not believers. They're not complete believers in this But I'm team. thinking if you look around the NFL – there are no dominant teams, so Aaron Rodgers. Oh, wait, Matt, you, wait a minute. There's no dominant team well, in the NFL. Well, you don't call I Baltimore say the Ravens, a dominant but they're in another division. San Francisco. But you're right. San Francisco is not a dominant team after what Atlanta did well, to them. Well, yeah, every team's going to lose, you know. They're going to lose its it, – the NFL's too um, – there's too much parity for there to be what? just a – 16 and 0 team. You don't think San Francisco so wants an ugly win like you got from yeah. Washington and the Giants? I and mean, this is how close they were to an ugly yes. win, you know? I mean, I don't that, understand how you judge much. other teams and give them the benefit, but you don't get a package. Well, the because benefit. San Francisco has some serious injuries. wins. They got they some beat, injuries, too. I know they got a lot of injuries. They beat New Orleans on the yep. road. They lost to yep. Baltimore by a field goal on yep. the road. Okay. I mean, they, but they lost they, to Atlanta at home. They lost to Seattle in, was it overtime on a field goal? Okay, well, so they, they, they have some real, they've played some tough teams yeah. and are really good. They've and blasted they have, they do the Packers have. at home. Who Who is the Packers' signature win? Well, Dallas at Dallas. Okay, and they're week a four. Owner. Week four. But it still happened. Okay, so since then, I mean, what is their signature win? See, I don't, win? I don't go by that. That's just media stuff, signature win and identity. <laughs> you just got to win, Tom. You won 11 games. I'm explaining why people are not believers. I get it, but I'm trying to get people to know we were, you were 6-9-1 last year. Mm -hmm. You should celebrate. I don't drink, but you should be like just help a – a lot of teams are going to think they're going to get in the playoffs and may miss. For example, the Rams. Yeah. You beat – you know, a, a, a great team, you come back and get destroyed by Dallas. But when you beat Seattle, people say, oh, they're the eight and five, they're the up and coming mm -hmm. team. But now the Packers have gotten themselves in the potentially can be the number one or two seed. If it ended today, they're in two seed. I'm just confused by why people are so upset. I, well, I take that back. Not upset, but they're worried that their team is going to be one well, and done. I, I feel like there's not. Uh, for an 11 and 3 team, mm -hmm. there's not a buzz about the Packers. There's not well, that's, like that's when our they fault. have had a huge. <laughs> it's not like people are just because you keep writing these articles. Write an article about it being buzzed, then it'll be buzzed. <laughs> that wouldn't be true. <laughs> yeah. I only write the truth. Yeah, I know, but listen, um, and I'm 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 having some fun, but at the same time, I think people uh, expect. You know, the Packers, it is a lot of unknowns mm -hmm. right now. And a lot of people thought the Saints, you know, congratulations to Drew Brees having more touchdown passes than anybody. Yeah. And they look they look good. Mm -hmm. But I remember that defense giving up 48 points. I mean, yeah. so every team got something wrong Every with team it. has a flaw, no yes. question. And, yes. and 49ers are beat up. Yes, uh, they've they got, got a lot some of injuries. injuries. They lost the their Packers center. The Packers are the most healthiest team. Yes, they are, and that's part of the reason why they're eleven and three. They've had there no significant yes. injuries yes. during yes. the year. But yes. anyway, let's let's kind of <laughs> uh, look. I guess to look ahead, we got to look back a little bit against okay. the Bears, uh, the victory against the Bears. Mm -hmm. So. Um, from a defensive standpoint, they did exactly what they needed to do to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't. I think their run defense has been a lot better the last yep. couple of weeks. Would you agree? Yep. Well, yeah. I mean, Kenny Clark's all pro. I mean, the guy is just phenomenal. I mean, Dean Lowry had a great turnover. Um, you didn't see a very much from the Smith brothers, but they were playing very unselfish. But that Zadarius yeah. Smith lining up in the middle gives everybody else a one-on-one. -on -one. You know, they yeah. yes. that, that was a nice little twist they I had. I like that, and they've been doing defense. that the last few weeks. But you also get a chance to, based off of Ladarius, 
You also can play Rashad Gary. He got his second sack mm -hmm. of the season. Well, you get a chance to get fresh guys in there. Because mm -hmm. you know this, Tom. In December, moving into January, you're going to play your top 40, 45 guys. The other guys are going to be on special teams. And that's just the way it goes. you got to have guys out there you trust. Yeah. You have to have guys out there you trust. So seeing Dean Lowry come up with a great pick is awesome. But I was worried when Blake Martinez went out when his – he got the wind knocked out of him. Yeah. Now you got Burks out there who hasn't played very much. He played three snaps. You know, who are you going to put down in that, that box? They tried 35. They tried 39. They tried 25. Who is that guy going to be? Because going into the Minnesota game, you got to figure out if that's your signature defense, that nickel defense, who's going to be the other guy next to 50? Yeah, it's going to – it's probably got to be 35. I, I mean, they did – yeah, B.J. Goodson was not even active no. for the game. Well, they playing a kind of a spread offense. They're mm -hmm. in the shotgun, not traditional fullback. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to have him up. You have to have more athletes up. Minnesota is going to play three wides a lot, so yeah. I don't know if they'll. I think they'll probably go with Campbell more. Yeah, there than they will and that would make sense. Goodson. I mean, but at the same time, I don't know if Davin Cook's going to play. But back to the uh, Chicago game, there is a few things that comes up when people thinking, okay, you come out first quarter, you look sharp. Mm -hmm. And then for a couple quarters, the offense gets kind of confusing Stalls. a little bit. Stalls, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know, look at the first series. That Really, that first play to Valdez Scantling should have been a touchdown. I mean, that All was, week they say, look, we're going to get this coverage. Yep. We're going to do this. We haven't seen you for a few weeks. We're going to set you up. Yep. And we're going to throw Aaron through a great ball. Yeah, they're like, not only are you going to score, or are we going to score a touchdown, yes. but you're going to get your confidence back on this one throw. Yes. And they pr planned for it all week, and it was a perfect throw. That's as nice a deep ball as I've and ever seen. And that kind of weather and the air is just – cold that was a great ball yeah but that's when you say jay kumaro needs to get an opportunity now I and mean, i think we will i think they have to you know it's a tough situation because if you want to keep valdez scantling going a little and use his speed mm -hmm. that's great but teams are going to know every time he's out there i'd he's play just, 30 yards off yeah. him if i'm a corner <laughs> you know yeah. just right. play the deep ball because yes. that's all he can do right yeah. now and, and that's all they want to use him for you See, they got a lot of receivers, uh, Geronimo Allison, tall, big guys, Lazard. They just don't have any guys with wiggle. Yeah. The only guy that has is Devontae Adams, and you can see that's why they haven't been in the slot so much. And they're not getting a whole lot from the tight ends. But I think their identity is they just win. They just win. I mean, you know, Aaron Jones had a couple of touchdowns, didn't have a lot going for it in the run game, but it seemed like defense is – are just loading up trying to stop Aaron Jones. Yeah. They figure if you take the, the, run, the run game away, you're going to put it all on Aaron Rodgers, and we just don't think their receivers can beat us. That just seemed to be the game plan. Yeah. And that's what Minnesota's going to do. Yes, they so are. So you, you, if anything, you may see a big game by Lazard, or you may, be, you may see a big game by Kumaro or one of these guys, if they can separate and get to the next level and – if you don't do that, then it's going to be a recipe for a disaster because you get into a shootout. I think part of um, the issue is that if a team plays man-to-man -man against those guys, mm -hmm. it's good for Devontae Adams and not for anybody else. <laughs> because, you know, he's the athlete that can beat man-to-man -man yeah. coverage. The yeah, other nobody guys, can jam him. It's, yeah, the, the other guys, I don't think so. I, don't, I think they're more zone-type receivers where they're smart and they'll sit down and yep. zone or or if they get a pick you know or something like that they did have a lot of drops though that was they did yeah they did you normally don't see very much but the offensive line I, to me the player of the game to me was Bati, david bati was amazing yeah this guy was just great but the whole entire offensive line Alaga was fantastic played too great and he's playing on a kind of a bum knee but, you know, even Jenkins and Turner and Lindsley, you know, those five guys, remember they gave up five sacks last time they yeah, played yeah. Chicago. But you didn't even know if Khalil Mack was out there. Yeah, I know. He wasn't even a factor. I think he made one um, tackle. So 
Aaron had all day to throw the football, he which did. is good. Which is good, and then it's bad because you would have thought they would have had more success with well, all the time he had to throw the football. That's a good and point. Is that a reflection of their wide receivers? Yeah, I mean, you got to get, if you got man to man, you got to create some daylight. And then if it's some daylight there, Aaron, you know, could get you the ball, but he's not going to take a lot of chances if he don't think the trust factor's there. Yeah. That's why I think you may see more of Kuma Roko. We're going to show a play in X and O's that he kind of threw him open. And that as a safety, it's like this little dead area mm -hmm. that quarterbacks know if they recognize it's cover two. But then again, you got to throw it on a laser. If not, it'll be picked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah no question. Uh, key, so looking ahead to the Vikings game, mm -hmm. I think uh, two keys for the Packers. One is they got to stop the run. They got to stop yeah. Delvin Cook, or even if he's not well, there, boom. then yeah. uh, uh, Madison is the other yeah. guy. He, they yeah, he's banged up too. They got a lot of injuries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> that's, I mean, working to the Packers' benefit. Yeah. Thielen, you know, is not really back all the way. Only had yeah. two catches against the Chargers. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of things that are going their way, going in there. But that is still a really difficult place, and. The offensive line has to play well, and the defensive line has yeah, to play Daniel well. Yeah, Daniel Hunter is a guy. Everson Griffin, they know these guys. Yeah. Uh, but you know, Kyle, you know, Rudolph, a tight end, has traditionally always, you know, gives. Tight ends have been a problem for the Packers. Luckily, Chicago didn't have one to use, but I'm sure they'll use Kyle Rudolph in the um, in the red zone. But it still come yeah, down to Cousins. Irv Smith Jr. Yeah, Irv Smith Jr. That's another good point. It still come down to uh, Cousins. You know, he plays better at home. Their defense is better at home. Oh. They're one of the best defenses at home. Bakhtiari, they actually stepped up on the road against L.A. Bakhtiari got the better of Everson Griffin yep. in Lambeau Field. Everson yep. Griffin probably can't wait to get yeah. to you know the U.S. Bank Stadium because he gets such a huge advantage yes, there with yes, the crowd with noise the crowd. and the turf. Yep. You know, he's yep. fast. So uh, Minnesota's... The Packers offensive line is going to have to have a repeat performance. Yes, uh, no question. Because if they protect, that secondary has not played great this year. As of late, they played okay. They had, you know, like six or seven turnovers against, you know, Phillip Rivers and company. Yeah. But if you can protect, there are going to be opportunities for Devontae Adams always destroys these guys. Yeah. So Xavier Rose and Trey Waynes and these guys, you know, these guys got to be on point. Otherwise, and Harrison Smith – it's going to be a, a bond burn. Yeah, Minnesota has to decide, can they stop uh, Aaron Jones right. with their base defense yeah. um, or commit another guy and then risk having Devontae Adams single cover? Oh, that's a good point. I think they should, me personally, I think they should get Aaron Jones out of the backfield and throw him the football. Make him active, get him 20, 25 touches, and also you got to rotate – you know, 30 in there, but at the same time, you're going to have some opportunities with Tunyon and Graham because you got to make Barr and these linebackers, make them cover. Mm -hmm. Don't just have them teeing off on the quarterback or just drop, dropping in the zones. Right. Make these guys think. Now, again, the head coach Zimmer understands how to play Aaron Rodgers yeah. in his offense. Yes, he does. But and this is an offense that's only been around for 14 weeks, so I don't know if they have a trend yet. But he understand what he needs to do. I tell you, if they line Aaron Jones out and go empty in the backfield, Mike yeah. Zimmer will have an answer to that. Yeah. Well, you he's know, gonna heat him up. He'll blitz the yep. heck out of him. Yeah. And yep. you know, yep. so you gotta that you have to think twice about doing that. It sounds yeah. good on paper, but then you think <laughs> about what Zimmer does and he's gonna get some guys free. So yeah. it, it should be a great matchup. It's it's this is what how the NFC North should be won. Yes. You know, the NFL best got it right. Going they want these them. division games yeah. in December. That brings me to my prediction. Okay. I don't think the Packers have the I don't think the Packers have won in that new stadium yet no. on the road. So I think it'll be the first time they'll do it. I think they're healthier. I think they're they're a lot better team than the Vikings. They're just so up and down. And again, Kirk Cousins is gonna give you opportunity for some interception. This time catch them. Because Mr. Trubisky threw the guys a couple of them and they dropped them. Yeah. So I see the Packers winning 28 to 21, and they'll win the division. So you get a home game, but after that, you got some payback when it comes to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Think about yeah. Detroit yeah. losing to them 31 to nothing. Yeah. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but Monday night's a big game for both teams. Because yeah. if you're the Vikings, 
you still have a chance to win a division if you went out, but at the same time, you won't be able to get in the playoffs. So I like the Packers' chances. And I have to thank our sponsor, Potter yeah. Wyman Hotel and Casino, for uh, hosting us each week. I appreciate them. So Okay. And don't forget about X's and O's. We yes. got a couple of nice offensive plays. We usually go defense this time. We're going offense. Yeah, let's go so, offense. Uh, be sure you tune into that, and we will see you after the Vikings game. Happy holidays.